Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have just got back from holiday and I have discovered waiting for me a design tea package from Craft Consortium. So I thought we'd open it together and see what's inside. It definitely makes coming home that little bit easier when you find a surprise package from your favorite company waiting for you. Now, before I get into the box, I would just like to ask that if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow. And if you enjoyed today's video or find it useful, please also remember to leave me a big thumbs up. So without further ado, let's open this design team package together. So in the box, I have Tis the Season, which is a new collection from Lindsay Kelly. It has actually been out for about a month now, I think. Um, but I have only just got my shipment of it. I also have a few extra bits, so I think I'm going to start with the extra bits and then we'll go through Tis the Season separately. So the first little extra bit I have are some more of the chipboard ephemera shapes from the Candy Christmas collection. Now I have been absolutely loving this collection. I have made so much stuff with it um, and I have really been enjoying designing with it. However, I hadn't got around to making any videos with the collection yet because I'd hurt my wrist. I was in a splint for two weeks as well as a cast for two weeks before that. So it was really tricky to do much. Um, and by the time... I was able to make videos I'd almost used up my chipboard ephemera so very kindly they've sent me some more so that I have some for videos um, and I will be bringing those to you very very soon. I also have the washi tape that went with the candy Christmas collection now I didn't get this in my original package and I just had to have it I loved it I loved the look of it when it launched and I knew it would be really useful for some of the cards I want to do videos with so I asked if I could have some and very kindly they've sent me some this is 10 meters so there's five on each I'm going to open it up and show you and I will also link the candy Christmas video in the description box of this one in case you missed it and wanted to go back and check it out so let's open this and I'll show you the washi so the first one is these really gorgeous little gingerbread people and it's just a repeating pattern. How cute is that? Let's just see if I can wind that round. I'm the world's worst winder of washi tape. No, that'll do for now. And then the other one, it's a slightly wider one. It's one of the scenes from the pad and it's this one here look how gorgeous that is i absolutely love it so i know i will use those on cards and projects and definitely journaling through the christmas season this year this will also work really well with made by elves again it was a house couple ditch collection quite similar um and they work really well together and again i'll be doing some videos using the two to give some inspiration and let you get the most from your stash and then the other thing I asked if I could try were these. Now these are some new embellishments. These have been out again a few weeks. All of the Christmas range dropped on the same day. They literally hit release, release, release in a row. And these were one of the things that released. It was amazing. So these are adhesive pearls. And they actually come in four different sizes in the pack. So we have three mil, four mil, five mil and six mil um there's another color i believe it was silver um i'll leave everything linked in the description box in case you want to go and check it out um but i thought these would look absolutely amazing in the middle of poinsettias and obviously other projects as well but i really like the look of those small ones for the poinsettias so i'm going to make some and give it a go there's 143 on here believe it or not how amazing is that, that they can get 143 on such a small little piece of acetate. So I can't wait to get using those. And I'm really grateful that they sent those to me as well. So let's have a look at Tis the Season. Okay, as always with my videos, I am going to start with the paper pad because I am a huge paper lover and I cannot wait to look at these and... Yeah, everything else can wait. It has to be paper first for me. So we have a 6x6 pad and a 12x12 pad in this collection. And I'm going to actually show you the 12x12 because I think it shows up better on camera. Uh, they're all exactly the same though. 
So, Tis the Season is by Lindsay Kelly. She is a new designer to the Craft Consortium family. She did Enchanted Jungle a couple of months ago and it went down really, really well. People have been absolutely loving it and we have seen some fantastic makes using it over on the Craft Consortium Network Facebook page. I will also leave that linked in the description box. Please feel free to come over and join. It's a really supportive group and it's a place where you can share any of your Craft Consortium projects and makes. So this is one of our premium ranges, which means it's been done in collaboration with the designer, in this case, Lindsay Kelly. There are 40 double-sided sheets in here. They are 200 GSM papers. The pearlescent ones are 150 GSM and they're all acid free. There are also some papers in here with the most beautiful, elegant effects like coated designs. I'll show you as we get there. Yeah, I'm really excited. So having a look at the front, we have some gorgeous smoke setters, we have some bells, we have maybe a partridge, partridge in a pear tree perhaps. I love the holly here and we have some mushrooms and toadstools down here and just look at the detail on these fur cones. Absolutely amazing. Lindsay Kelly has a very distinct style but I really really like it. So when we open up the pad and the first thing you find on every craft consortium premium pad is on the back page of the front cover and also the back page of the pad you will have extra cutter parts that you can cut out fussy cut and use on your projects for extra ephemera or decoration so on here we have the poinsettia we have the um kind of hypericum, the berries, we've got the holly, we've got some Christmas baubles, we've got the pear. I really, really love that holly. I think it's beautiful. We have this amazing banner. I apologise for the light. Really don't know what's going on with all these shadows. It's the way the sun's coming through the window. I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Hopefully it doesn't distract too much from the beautiful papers. Again, we have the fir cones here. We have the partridge. Oh, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let's have a look at the papers. Okay, so this is the first page in the pad. I've actually taken one of each from the pad and just stacked them to make it easier to show you. You get four of each design throughout the pad, so I've got ten different sheets here. So on this page, we have those absolutely gorgeous little... Uh, mushrooms here we've got the partridges we've got the fur cones which do blend in a little bit but you can see them we've got some really cute little snowflakes it's quite a dark background but it makes the colors pop you've also got the bells hiding in there we've got these hypericum berries again really really pretty page it's kind of traditional but non-traditional at the same time i like the take on that i think it's really pretty on the back of that one, we have the, I, I kind of want to say Star of Bethlehem. That's what it reminds me of. I'm not sure that's what it is actually supposed to be, but that's what this page says to me. And surely paper crafting is all about personal interpretation and personal style. So I really like this. I think it's really pretty. I think that would look great as a matted layer. I like the black background because it really makes the gold pop and stand out and I really like the style of this little decoration here. What does this say to you? Let me know in comments. Do you see the star of Bethlehem shining bright or do you see something else? Maybe you see a curtain of like sequin diamonds maybe that could also be what that is. Let me know. I'd love to know what you see on this page. The next page is one of the pearlescent pages. Now, how you know these are pearlescent without necessarily seeing it's pearlescent is these feel different. Because these are 150 GSM as opposed to 200 GSM, you can feel a difference. But this one is one of the pearlescent pages. And if I kind of tilt it around in the light, you should see it start to shine a little bit. It's really, really pretty. And when the light hits this green, and it really shines, my word, that is beautiful. Now, if you saw the Enchanted Jungle collection, you will know that um, Lindsay's style was quite, I described it as Zen Hangle. We had 
a lot of this kind of design in there where you've got the dots and the, the the lines and we're seeing that in this pad as well but it really really works I really really like it and I really love this page I think it's really really pretty so I think this will have to be a feature somewhere in one of my cards then we're flipping it over and again we have palette on the back these are like I want to say pears um really pretty really nice colors something just a little bit different and if you fussy cut these you wouldn't just have to use these at christmas you could use that throughout the year this is the next page possibly one of my favorites in this pad just look at this i love the mushrooms i love the little fungus down here i love these candy canes i love how it all works together i love the colors i love how the greens mix with the reds mix with this kind of dark blue here oh my word just look at that that is a page of happiness right there again this is going to have to be a focal image on one of my cards I think it's just beautiful and then when we flip it over we have this night sky with the jingle bells suspended in the air twos and ones throughout the page this again is not pearlescent this is one of the 200 GSM papers you can feel the quality there really really unusual design I wouldn't have thought of hanging just um, the jingle bells in the sky. I think it's really fun. It's like it's raining jingle bells. How fun is that? But I really like that. I think it's really pretty. Then we're onto our first page with this glossy effect on it. So if I kind of tilt it, you should be able to see as it catches in the light. These decorations are like coated um, and it makes them smooth to the touch. But when the light hits them, they kind of, as you can see, they, they shine. I really, really like it. I think it's a really fun effect. You don't really see it in other paper pads away from Craft Consortium. So I really like that this is kind of exclusive to them and it's their idea. Uh, you could definitely fussy cut these and having the coating, I personally find it easier to fussy cut them because of that. Again, we've got the nighttime sky. It makes it easy to make this a focal point on your card or project. Really fun idea. Again, one of my favourite pages in the book, I think. And then when we flip it over, we just have a dark background with the most beautiful snowflakes on. But look at the details on these. I love the way Lindsay uses lines and circles in her artwork. Really, really beautiful snowflakes. That would make a great matte layer, I think. Um, you could make it a focal part and then put something over the top but I think I see that more as mats and layers on my projects but it's a really lovely page then we're having a complete change in direction color wise but oh my goodness I absolutely love this I love the shade of blue in the background there and it really makes that red stand out I love her use of the colorways on her artwork she is so clever and then have a look at this flower here again we have the zentangle work coming through with the lines and the small dots even on this one here really really pretty i absolutely love this page i think it's so pretty it's really alternative it's not your traditional christmas but it is totally usable and these would be really easy to fussy cut as well because of the size of them oh, absolutely love it i just think it's beautiful now if that wasn't your style when you turn it over you do have a more traditional snowy sky look these are quite large snowflakes they are more round like um hard snow like really when it's coming down hard and settling if you're in the uk you'll kind of know what i mean because we have the really really tiny fine stuff that just falls looks pretty and then disappears and then we have proper snow and this is proper snow in the uk but oh my goodness i love that blue in the background again i think it's absolutely stunning so this is almost like an evening a kind of light afternoon evening snowfall in the uk that, that's kind of what this reminds me of and it's kind of the color of the blue in the background it's that really late afternoon going into evening sky in the uk absolutely love it so again something for everyone in this pad if you didn't like the big bright flowers you have got a usable page on the back and again this is one of the 200 gsm papers now you know I'm going to love this page, oh my goodness, again this is one of our coated pages, if I move that around a bit you can see it catching the light and shining, there is nothing to hate about this page, oh my goodness I am obsessed with this page, it is right up my street, it is absolutely beautiful, 
I think this is going to be one of the ones that gets used up the quickest. I absolutely am obsessed with this holly and the berries. I love how she has put the white effect on there so it's got the shine. I love the pattern in the background of this. I love the blue colour. There's just I just love everything about this page. Definitely one of my favourites in this pad. Let me know what you think. On the back we have this green, it's very dark green background with the pretty white swirls again using lines and circles to her advantage. Personally I'm going to use the other side, I can't really see me using this side because I am so obsessed with the other side but if you weren't into the holly and the berries then you could absolutely use this and this one actually you could use all year round so if you were doing a project in the spring you could definitely reach for this and use it as a matte or layered section of your project. We've got another change in direction colour wise now and oh my goodness look how adorable this little deer is possibly the cutest deer I have seen all year I absolutely love him and again you can see the use of the lines and the dots on him. That's really her style, her signature style. I love it. You could fussy cut him very, very easily. Then we have the mushrooms again, the bells. We've got the big flowers. I like the pink background. I'm not normally an alternative Christmas girl, but this page really speaks to me and I absolutely love it. Then on the back, we have this kind of mosaic feel of paper and it's really cleverly done. So depending how you look at it depends how you see it. So if you focus on these big snowflakes, they really stand out to you. If you kind of just glance on the flat, then everything blends in and looks one dimensional. But then if you focus on these little ones, you kind of see a pattern of like almost a circle without being a circle so there's three different looks to this depending how you look at it which I think is really clever and really interesting next we're onto this page again super super traditional really up my street absolutely love this you've got the red background you've got the white stars and then you've got that amazing mistletoe oh my goodness I just there's no there's just no words really I love it this is a bit of me and you just know this is going to get used a lot. Flipping it over and we have kind of a Scandi feel to this one. You've got the white background, you've got the red popping through but look at the detail in these. Look at the use of the lines and the circles. Look at the details in these. These are absolutely incredible and it just brings a different feel to the paper pad. Now this one for me it feels really nostalgic. This reminds me of growing up in the 80s. Just the imagery on this, I don't know, it just you you might have seen this as a wallpaper in a kids room in the 80s. It makes me feel good. I like this page. I love that deer. We already know that these fur cones again, they're a bit of me. These decorations, I love the blue one, the red one's fun. We've got the mistletoe still, we've got the mushrooms. It's just a really nice fun sheet. I love all the details and again we have that kind of star of Bethlehem in the background there but it's a really fun sheet I really really like this one and then on the back and I've said we've got those fur cones that I have been obsessing over all through the paper bag now we've got a really interesting color for the background here it kind of reminds me of like a coffee flavor um I like the white stars that shine through as well really nice page whether you'd make this a focal image or not i'm not sure you might use it as like a matte and layer you could use it as a frame you could probably fussy cut that if you really wanted to but it's just a really fun page i really really love it and the last sheet again is one of our pearlescent pages let's see if i can get it to catch but it's really really beautiful quite traditional it's a really lush really deep gold colour in the background and then we've got all of the snowflakes popping off there again look at the use of the lines and dots in this design absolutely beautiful and when we flip it over you have got really really traditional here you've got the white background and the gold stars so if for any reason you didn't like that side you can most definitely use this side really really pretty again that is going to get used up super quick so that brings us back to the back page of the paper pad where again you will find all of these little cut apart 
pieces we've got another one of those banners that i absolutely love we've got a big poinsettia up here we've got the little deer more decorations very happy to see more holly down the bottom you've got the partridge the bells so a really beautiful really fun paper pad and again it does come in the six by six version which is exactly the same now a lot of my makes with this are actually going to be donated to a charity so sometimes craft consortium will ask us to send in our makes if they need them for publicity or for television um but as it stands when i'm filming this we haven't been asked for them so when they don't ask for them they don't mind us using the cards ourselves so what i'm going to do is i'll keep some for myself obviously but i am going to be donating some to charity i'm going to be supporting the isle of mole rda they have a stall at a charity event up there in november and um it's a center that's very close to my heart i know the owner i ride there myself when i go up on holiday so i thought i would make some cards for them and donate them so that they can sell them to raise some money so i thought i'd give you some background information on what happens to our makes because often you see the collections and then you see our makes and then it's like well what happens to them so there you go sometimes we send them in sometimes we keep them ourselves and you know we can donate them as well so that's what i'm going to be doing with mine now there is a coordinating paper pad that goes with this collection i absolutely love that craft consortium has started doing this it makes um creating with the collection so much easier because it takes all the guesswork out of matching up your cardstock so all of the papers in here will match in with something in this pad so i'm just going to flick through the pad for you um so again we've got really traditional greens i'm a traditional girl i will definitely use those then we have like blues and purples um and some earthy tones which i will probably save till next year and use in some all year round projects the gold again i could probably use that at christmas and then we've got the beautiful reds which again they will get used up while i'm using either this or some other christmas makes so you have that in there this is a four you have 20 double-sided sheets in that and they are 200 gsms so they are good quality papers not strong enough to make card bases or fun fold cards with but perfect for strengthening up your fun folds and using it as a mat layer or two so those are the papers let me show you the other embellishments that come with this collection so the first thing i've got are 15 bells look how cute those are they're really heavy actually they're nice quality metal charms and i'm gonna have to think how to use these on my cards and things but how fun are they so we have those then as always we have adhesive pearls how beautiful are these colors oh my goodness right up my street not sure i'd use the blue for christmas but you never know i might surprise myself but i'm loving the reds i'm loving the greens and i absolutely love that gold color i can't see these lasting past christmas if i'm honest you do get 80 on there they're really nice i normally add a bit of extra glue to the back of mine just to make sure if i'm posting them that they get there in one piece because obviously royal mail or couriers are not the most gentle people so i like to put a dob of glue on the back before i um stick mine down but they are self-adhesive and if you're giving your card by hand they'll be more than fine as they are then we have rub on transfers again this is something new to craft consortium they started doing this earlier this year i think the first one we got was with bell fleur um really fun to do you do get the stick in the pack as well it's just hiding in the back where uh, so you can rub them on there's two different sheets in there that are identical and they are really good fun to use on your projects as well really happy to see that tis the season banner i really like that banner so you have those and then lastly i have the chipboard ephemera so let's get this out and we'll have a look at what's in here 
So again, chipboard ephemera is fairly new for Craft Consortium. They used to do wooden shapes, which I really, really loved, um, but they've switched to chipboard ephemera. Now, I actually quite like these um, because they are lighter than wood, so easier for postage. They are also not as thick, so again, keep your postage costs down and they are self-adhesive so on the back this will peel off and that's sticky um so yeah love them look at those that's how many you get i love that they put the deer in there very happy to see him and obviously the holly that i've been obsessing over you just know those are two that are going to get used pretty quick probably on the first couple of projects so I absolutely love those and you know those are going to get used up really quick because I've already had to ask for extras of the Candy Christmas ones. So I will try and remember to film some videos using this um, collection while I still have these ones to share some inspiration because I think it's nice to share ideas on how to use these. So that was my design team package from Craft Consortium. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing what's inside. I really hope you enjoy the Tis the Season collection. And let me know what you think of these absolutely beautiful new embellishments. I know several people have already got this collection and have started working with it already. And we absolutely love seeing your makes over on the Craft Consortium network. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please also remember to leave me a thumbs up. Let me know in comments what your favourite item was. And I hope you enjoyed hearing about what I do with my projects after you've seen the collection and after I've shared all the different makes with them. Thank you so, so much for watching today. I really appreciate everyone who takes the time out of their day to stop by and watch my videos. I will be back soon with more videos. So until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.